Hi, this is Martin from Metis Automation. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to configure our manufacturing execution system, Taskus, uh, to capture and record some of the downtime that you might experience in your manufacturing process. And it's really key and it's important to capture the reasons for downtime and the periods of uh, time that are consumed with downtime. Uh, if you want to go about making continuous improvements towards optimizing your productivity. Uh, so knowing whether there's part shortages that are leading to people standing around waiting for jobs to come along um, or unexpected breakdowns on machinery. Uh, the first thing that you need to do before you can resolve those problems is uh, categorize them figure out how they are, do an 80-20 analysis using the Pareto principle to uh, split out the ones which are causing the most impact and causing the most disruption, and then systematically go through and resolve the issues uh, one by one. By doing this, you'll end up with a more productive process. So bearing that in mind, in Taskus, we've added some tools to enable the capturing of that downtime rather easier. So if you look at the screen right now, we've got a timer ticking away at the top. This is a production operator dashboard within Taskus. Uh, and at the moment, it's got a my status. Uh, that I've stopped, so that's showing up. That's using a traffic light system. Uh, green for running, amber means there's some, some kind of delay and red means a line stoppage. So uh, there's a delay here and there's a part shortage and that's been ticking away for over 11 minutes at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to show you now how to configure that and how to get your operators to start capturing that data to put you on the road to making improvements. So let's go ahead and do that now. So uh, I'm going to run a production sequence, uh, pick my first order, which is this one up here. Uh, I'm going to run the assembly process and I'm going to capture some data. So what's happened now is my production status indicator up at the top has changed to production running and that's gone green. Uh, I've got some preventative maintenance tracking here. I'm just going to hide that to give us a bit more focus. Uh, so I'm going to do some steps in my manufacturing process, just flicking through, through some work instructions and capturing some data. Um, and then I will skip to the end of this process and you'll be able to see what happens after this process is completed. So we're just coming up to the end of this process now, last couple of steps in the assembly. Uh, so I've now finished the assembly of this item and it pops me back to the start. Um, I'm going to close that down because I'm going to simulate that I don't have uh, another part to start on. Uh, so the indicator up here, that's changed back to the production being idle. Um, and if I click on that button now, uh, it pops up and I can select from a pre-programmed list of reasons what the um, what the downtime is because of. So for this example, I'm going to say it's a part shortage. Uh, if I click that, that will start the timer running uh, and I get the indicator up on the top right here. Uh, so that's, that's how easy it is for the operators to capture the reason for the downtime. Uh, and to start the timer running. In a second, we'll, I'll just go and show you what that looks like in the report for you to review it. Uh, so we've got a shortcut to it down here on the downtime button. Um, you can also see it from the button, uh, from the menu up here, reports downtime. Um, and if we change that out to uh, this year all time uh, we can see that in this demo i've logged 18 minutes of downtime through to part shortages and some down to ncrs and some other reasons uh, so once this timer starts running and they've picked the category it will end up in this bar chart uh, and you can view that daily weekly monthly uh, and you can get a Pareto view of what other things are causing uh, the most downtime uh, once you've done that, you can then potentially drill down some further levels to figure out what those parts are 
uh, that are causing the part shortage and hopefully lead you onto the um, road to making improvements. Um, so there we go, that's that's it. That's how we set up Taskus to start recording downtime, how we ca get operators to capture the reasons, and then at the end, how we can see reports uh, showing what you're spending downtime on. So thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.